one of the most commonly used drugs for breast cancer, but for some women, it can stop working after a few years. Tonight, there is new hope for the millions of women who are resistant to tamoxifen. A new study suggests there may be an alternative. RTV6 reporter Stacia Matthews has details for us. Stacia. Todd, thousands of Hoosiers use tamoxifen, but some women become resistant to it, and if they do, their treatment options become extremely limited. A drug already on the market pr could prove to be the next best thing. After going through radiation and chemotherapy for breast cancer, Jamie Albert appreciates the simplicity of tamoxifen. Tamoxifen is super easy to use. Yeah, I just take a pill every day, just have to make sure I remember, and that's no big deal. Since hitting the market a generation ago, tamoxifen's impact has been profound, not only in treating breast cancer, but preventing it. But for up to 40% of women, that protection is only temporary. Well, there's a lot of women that will respond to tamoxifen for several years and then become resistant and have to do something else. Dr. Robert Mangus is an oncologist with St. Vincent Health. Take nice deep breaths for me. He's keeping an eye on this study in Ohio where researchers are testing a new drug called this Motajib, a promising alternative treatment. Unfortunately, we don't have the materials yet to maybe get rid of every last cell or to truly cure. But if we can buy them years and years and we can keep that growing, then that's good enough that you can pass away from old age. In the lab, researchers looked at over 100 human tumors and found the pathway that some cancer cells use to beat tamoxifen. But they were able to block that pathway and kill cancer cells by using this Motajib, which, like tamoxifen, is very easy to take and tolerate. This medicine does have some side effects, but generally not as bad as chemotherapy. Um, but it's, uh, I think it's a very interesting, very exciting. And Dr. Manga says the best part of all, the FDA approved this new drug last year for certain skin cancers, which means it could easily be studied in other diseases as well. Stacia Matthews, RTV6.